Hey guys, Lex here with another Freakins video. So we're continuing off my queue, and as you can see I've had a haircut. Well hey, it's a big event. I also still need to shave, but fuck it. But anyhow, so today I'll be talking about an old school scent from the house of Jaguar. They seem people make those really classy cars that no one can afford. Yeah, so this came out in 1988. I believe this is the first scent Jaguar ever brought out. This is Jaguar for men. So, this is the latest formulation, and I actually remember sniffing this, a friend owned this about maybe four years ago, I think it was pushing four or five years ago, I was at a friend's house, and he owned this in Ferrari, he's a big car fan, and I got this in Ferrari, and I sniffed this, and I was like, wow, that actually smells damn nice, and it lasted for ages. Now, when I sniffed this for the first time, it didn't smell anything like I remembered, and I actually don't like this formulation, so I'm going to come out and say, I don't like this scent, guys, but I'm still going to do my honest review. So, let's get started. Bottle design. So you have the classic cap here, the original bottle looked better, but this is this one. So a nice old school cap here, which I quite like. You've got Jaguar there, the Jaguar logo. You have four men, and you have some information on a sticker on the bottom. Just your basic stuff, you know, blah, blah, blah. Jaguar fragrances, eau de toilette, 100 mils, etc. Not a bad bottle, quite classic. Yeah, I'm going to go give this one about um, 7, 8 out of 10. Not too bad. So let's talk about the spray on there. One thing I'd like to mention is this water's, I'm not sure if my bottle's faulty. But this leaks like a motherfucker. Yeah, like I literally, this was dripping when I pulled the lid off earlier. I actually had to give this a wipe before doing this video, and it's still fucking soaking, as you can see. So you can see those wee watermarks there. Yeah, that's a lid. I don't know if it's faulty, but in mine, it's a piece of shit. So let's look at the sprayer. Not a bad sprayer, quite a bit of control. If you can spray tiny bits, you can spray loads. Not a bad sprayer at all. I think it's a pretty decent sprayer, if I'm honest. My hand's soaking, you can see how many sprays came out. <laughs> so yeah, and already... Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, if you like One Man Show, which I reviewed earlier, you probably love this. It has a few qualities of One Man Show. It has that sort of unfinished vibe. Remember I said that One Man Show felt that it wasn't finished, like it was sort of 80% complete? Same with this. doesn't smell like the one you remember smelling. Smells quite unfinished, like they were blending and thought, you know what, screw it, we'll just release it next week instead of working on it for a month or two. Yeah. Lazy. Feels like, but... It has a very old school. Now, this came out in 1988. Now, if you're expecting something more like jazz, Fahrenheit, Yope, Cool Water, the sort of late 80s where things start to become more fresh and stuff like that, and less 70s smelling, this might... This, Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this, I'm going to just turn the volume down now. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this came out in 1978 because it doesn't smell like a late 80s scent. It smells like a late 70s, early 80s sort of scent. Very sort of old school, tobacco -y sort of leathery almost. Like, I think that's what I'm picking up here. Mm. Like, basically, imagine getting into a, a, an old school 1970s Jaguar. Owned by a guy who's a wealthy businessman in his 70s. And he's saw in his mid 60s, late 70s. Wears an Yves Saint Laurent suit and stuff like that. Really classy guy, Rolex in the watch, leather seats and stuff. Just imagine that. And he smokes, likes to smoke cigars in his car with a leather seat. You know, that. Very old school. Um, yeah. Now, in the dry down, it's actually starting to smell a bit better, but I still don't like it. Um, I was kind of disappointed because I do remember it smelling better. When I got this, mm, I wasn't too happy. Mm, so I got a 15 quid at TK Maxx. Can't complain. But yeah, this gets old school, oaky sort of, tobacco -y sort of, um, but fresh at the same time. It does share similarities with One Man Show. If you, if you like that, you'll probably like this. Yeah, not my favourite, but it does have all the traits of a scent I would like. Not bad at all. I actually prefer this to One Man Show, but I still don't like it. But yeah, let's talk about performance. Now, performance, this one's actually pretty damn good. I can't get enough of this stuff. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. It performs really well, and I hate the smell. I love how it rhymed. It performs really well, but I hate the smell. Come on, my lady. <laughs> but yeah, like, um, uh, it just... Performance is like, I'm trying to think. Last time, it sort of was between 8 and 10 hours longevity. And I didn't have to, I was sort of hovering at 10 hours. I was, so about 10 hours guaranteed longevity. Projection? Projects about maybe an arm and a half's length for the first hour, but an arm's length for the second hour, maybe half an arm's length for the third hour, then hovers above the skin a few inches for about the fourth hour, and then sort of starts to become a skin scent by the f end of the fifth hour. So yeah, performance this one's actually really good. Um, this will be great for winter if you want stronger scents and stuff. This is great. 
So it has a bit of freshness to it as well, which helps, um, which is good for the performance. And um, so yeah, not too bad in that aspect. I like the freshness it's got in there. You know, it's like they've added a bit more. Like um, now, top of the old guy in the car, but he's the sort of guy that likes to go out and play tennis and exercise a lot. This guy sort of, yeah. So age group, uh, 40 and up. No, you know, age group, 40 and up. <laughs> How many sprays? Three to four sprays tops. Four sprays in winter, three sprays any time else. Spring, two sprays, you'll be fine. So not that many sprays. This one doesn't need that many. Four sprays max with this one, you should be fine. Age group, definitely 40 plus in my opinion. Yeah. Um, you couldn't rock it at 35 in my opinion because you're still sort of young at 35, 40 and up. Without a doubt. I would wear it if I liked it and I'm 22. It's up to you. I'm just giving my recommendation. 40 and up. And have make sure and drive a Mercedes. And always wear a tailored suit. Always. And smoke cigars. And have a Rolex. Can't be silver. No, no. It can't even be platinum. No, it has to be gold. Gold. You know, like a 70s gangster. And you need to have a gold chain. And a heavy chest. It's like back here. Yeah. Then you'll do it. Jaguar used car dealer. Hey, you want to buy a Jaguar? It's really good, man. Really good. I, I, I still want to drive it home. I still want to drive it home. Yeah, really good. Yeah, gorgeous. Really nice. Like, it has that sort of worn look. In other words, it hasn't been treated. It looks worn because it fucking is worn. But yeah. So yeah, I would say with this one, yeah, that definitely. So where to wear this? Um, definitely not in high school. So formal event. Now, I, I say this, but I just can't think of any way to wear this. Because... In fact, you know what, I think you could wear this at a formal event, if I'm honest. But there are better choices, but you could wear it. So, a date. You're dating someone who's 40 and likes these sort of stuff. This would be good for a date, but there are better choices. Like Aramis, for example, is much better smelling than this. And it still has that old school vibe. So yeah, there is that, you want your gentleman, etc. Fahrenheit, Green Irish Tweed, list goes on of why you shouldn't buy this. I'm kidding. If you like it, you should. It's an interesting one to try. But for a date, I wouldn't recommend this. In fact, if you're, let's say, like I said, you're a sort of CEO guy goes to board meetings, you're all these sort of older guys in the room, you could wear this to work. But I don't. I just don't recommend it as a work thing. Casual wear, going out for a few drinks at the pub, yeah, easy on the spray, three sprays tops, you'll be fine. You know, um, casual date, not too bad. Work, if you went one spray, it probably would be okay because that freshness to it, it wouldn't be too offensive. Yeah, in a formal event, I think you could. There are better choices, but you could rock it. So for versatility, I'm going to give this one about a 7 out of 10. Spring, it's really good. Summer, don't wear it at all. Autumn and winter, it's fine. So everything except the summer, this would be pretty good. It's that sort of greeny vibe to it. You know, with the tobacco and sort of, it's got a sort of greeniness to it. So one spray, maybe two sprays in spring, you'd be fine. But it also isn't that green enough that you could wear it in summer. There are better choices. At Savo Chrome, etc. Um, again, Green Irish Tweed, which is one of the most versatile scents money can buy. Aventus, the you know, list goes on. And uh, yeah, you know, so not too bad, but definitely um, not what I remember it smelling like. Maybe it was, it was years ago, but I do remember it smelling a lot smoother and a lot more refined. This And it was the exact same one. I don't think I got confused. Uh, the bottle gave it away. I recognised the bottle before I recognised, you know, the name. So I have got the right one. But yeah, Jaguar for men. If you're interested, um, again, um, it's a case like one man show. It's a great scent. I just don't happen to like it. Um, if you're interested and you want to try something a bit different, I think this is quite unique. If you like one man show, I think you'd like this. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's your first time uh, into, uh, getting into Jaguar scents, I hope this video was helpful. If it's your first time getting a more greener, late 80s scent, I think you'll like this. If you want looking for something a bit unique, I hope this video helped you. As always, any questions you have, leave them in the comments, send me a personal message. If even a video response, I'll do my best to get back to you. You can also message me on Facebook as well. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. And as always, keep on smelling fly. And as advice, I don't think you should be wearing this to smell fly. But that's just me. Not a bad scent, but there are better choices. I know I've said that like 10 times, but I just can't warrant buying this because it isn't that unique. It's like, see if there's nothing that smelled like this, even if it smelled terrible, I would buy it. But it's that way where there are scents in that category that are better and um, better quality. So, But yeah, an interesting one. So if you want something a bit interesting and unique, do check it out. And thank you for watching.